Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, um, I'm going to talk about the definite article, um, which uh, in English is uh, only one, and uh, that's the definite article the. Okay, so the word the is one of the most common words uh, in the English language, you know, and um, because that's the only definite article, it's being used uh, in almost every sentence, right? Um, now, the definition about this article is that nouns in uh, English and also in the other languages that uh, use this um, uh, article are uh, preceded by the definite article when the speaker believes that the listener already knows what he is referring to. So, for example, let's say uh, the book is on the table. The book is interesting. The book is mine. The book is uh, very expensive or whatever. Uh, that means that I'm talking about a book that uh, I believe that uh, the person that is listening to me knows about that book. So, he knows the book okay so that's the same uh, rule for macedonian language and uh, that's the meaning of the definite article okay now that in macedonian there are inflections that function as a definite article so we don't have an article like a word that is separated from the uh, noun it's basically um, an ending that is being attached to the word okay so i think that you will understand this more uh, like easier by uh, using some examples right so um the definite articles or uh, attachments in macedonian are uh, attached to the noun there are like uh, four different shapes of the article in macedonian and uh, the form of the article is determined by the number and the gender of the noun. So, um, basically we have to know the gender, we have to, to know the rule about the gender uh, of the noun, right? We have to know if it's a masculine, a feminine or a neutral one. And uh, also um, we have to be uh, sure if the noun is in singular or maybe it's in plural. So, now um, I would like to go on with uh, showing you some examples. First, um, we have a shape of the article, of the attachment, of the ending, and uh, it's the ending ot. Ot. Okay? So, if the noun ends in a consonant okay if the noun ends in a consonant then we will add ot in the end so for example we have a word like telefon you know telefon telefon is a masculine word a masculine noun why because it ends in a consonant right so, if we want to say the phone, the telephone or the phone, we have to say telephone not. So, we attach ot to the end of the noun and we get telefonot. We don't say it separate like telephone ot, we say telephonot. Okay? Good. Then we have, for example, computer. Computer. It's also a masculine word, and uh, if we want to say the computer, we have to say computerot. Computerot. Okay, computerot. Then we have, uh, for example, let's say molif. Molif. A pencil. If we want to say the pencil, then we have to say molivot. And uh, do you remember what was the uh, day in Macedonian? 
day, like Monday, Tuesday, it's then. And if I want to say the day, then we will say denot. Okay? So basically, if the word ends in a consonant, then that means that uh, it will get ot in the end. Okay? Good. Now we can go on. This is the uh, first shape. We have three more shapes of the definite article. The second shape is ta. Ta. Ta comes after nouns that end in a. Okay? So if the noun ends in a, then it will get ta in the end. Okay, for example, let's say masa. Masa means a table. And if we want to say the table, then we have to say masata. Right? Good. Then, for example, kniga. Kniga is a book. It ends in a, so it will be knigata. The book in Macedonian means knigata. Uh, for example, slika, which means a picture. Uh, slika also ends in a, so it will be slika ta. Slikata. Okay, the picture. Uh, and one more noun, for example, ulica. Ulica means street. And if I want to say the street, then I will say ulica ta. Ulica ta. Okay, good. The third shape of the definite article is the shape to. To. Okay, so we had ot, ta, the third one is to. To comes after nouns that end in o or e. Okay, so if the noun ends in o or e, it will get to. For example, let's say village in Macedonian is selo. And if we want to say the village, then we would say seloto. Um, you remember coffee in Macedonian is cafe. If we want to say the coffee, then we will say cafeto. Cafeto. Okay. Uh, for example, sky in Macedonian means nebo, sky. And if we want to say the sky, we would say neboto. Uh, and, uh, for example, sun in Macedonia means sonce, and the sun would be sonceto. Okay? Good. So, basically, this is the group of the neutral nouns, right? If it ends in O and E, it's a neutral gender. Um, for the last part, we have the fourth shape of the... Um, of the definite article and that's the te shape. So we have ot, ta, to, te. Okay, this is the fourth one. Te comes after the nouns that end in e. That means that um, e mostly comes in the Plurals, right? You remember the plurals? When we make a noun from singular into plural, then it changes and it gets some endings different according to the gender. <laughs> we had uh, some rules there also. And now, most of the nouns, when they, uh, when they transform into plural, they end in E. Okay? So, for example, Let's say telephone. Telephone becomes telephony. Let's say den, day. Day then becomes denovi. It's one syllable. Um, for example, we have kniga. Kniga becomes knigi, right? And what happens here? They all end in e. So they will get te after the plural shape. Okay, for example, if we want to say the phones, the telephones, the phones, then we, we have to say telefonite, 
ok? Computerite, molivite, knigite, slikite, ok? Good. So, te comes after the nouns that end in e. There is a small group of nouns that uh, when uh, we change it to plural, it doesn't get e. That's the group of the neutral gender. So, for example, from selo, we get sela, and from cafe, uh, we get kafinya. Remember? So, what what will we add here to the end? Surely we cannot add te because it doesn't end with e. Okay? So, cafe ends in kafinya, it ends in a, and selo ends in sela, it also ends in a. That means that sela and kafinya will get ta in the end, just like the feminine nouns right so if i want to say the coffees i would say kafinata the villages selata okay so these are the basic rules of the definite articles now i'm going to give you here a list of nouns they are mixed up the genders are not like separated they are mixed up i would like you to think about the these are all in singular and I would like you to make them in plural and this is the first step and the second step is to put the article in the end of the word okay so to attach the articles that we uh, did today and you can write down in the comment section uh, so you can practice and I can see what you have done if you have any question about this lesson about this topic you can also write me in the comment section thank you for your watching and um, see you in my next video bye bye have a nice day above then ciao ciao